the highest paying business career tier list for 2023. Today, we're gonna to be ranking business careers from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And we're gonna be talking about important things like salary, demand, et cetera. And there's gonna be some new things on this year's list. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna be emphasizing on this year's list is entry level careers. So this is something that I've pretty much ignored in past years. I've talked quite a bit about demand, but I've never really talked too much about the demand at the entry level. Now that's actually really important because a lot of the time that first entry level job is going to be the hardest job to land by far. Once you land that job, once you get a little bit of experience, every single job after that is gonna be relatively easy to land. But there are some careers out there where there's a lot of demand, but at the entry level, there isn't so much. It's much more difficult to get that first entry level job. So I found a really good way of figuring out what the demand is at the entry level and I decided to include that on this year's list. So if you appreciate videos like this, go ahead and let me know by smashing that like button like Roy Jones Jr. throwing a flying left hook and let's jump into it right now. All right, so the first one on the list is going to be founder or CEO. CEO stands for chief executive officer, and this is the leader of a company. So according to Glassdoor, CEOs make $375,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, there's about 23,000 results. Now there's two ways to become a CEO. The first one is to start your own company. The second one is to take over a company from somebody else. And this can happen if the person retires or they sell their company company, et cetera. But yeah, this one, clearly it's going to be incredibly high paying. Uh, there are CEOs that have literally made over $100 billion in a year. I think Elon Musk, one year he made $110 billion, and the next year he made like $90 billion or something. And that's technically like his net worth, like the equity in the company. So he wasn't paid $90 billion, but his net worth increased because of the equity that he has in his company. So yeah, CEO, S tier, no questions. Next one on the list is going to be accounting. And I think everybody is familiar with accounting, but I'll put the definitions up on the screen just in case. Now, according to Glassdoor, or accountants make about $59,000 a year. And of course, there are many different accounting jobs. Some of them make much more than that. For instance, financial controllers oftentimes will make $200,000 plus a year. And if you look on LinkedIn, you're gonna see that accountants have about 50,000 results at the entry level. This one goes into B tier. Next one on the list is going to be finance, right? So there is a ton of different career options in finance. Of course, the highest paying one is going to be hedge fund manager. There's hedge fund managers that make somewhere between one to $10 billion per year. But if you look up finance on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $96,000 a year for the salary. And if you type in finance on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 320,000 results. And I will say that finance is one of those industries and careers where you really do have to have kind of a certain personality. You have to have kind of an A-type competitive personality typically. It is extremely competitive, but you can also make a lot of money. If you're a really competitive type person, this might actually be the best industry to go into. So finance is clearly going to go into S tier. Next one on the list is sales. And not only is this one of the best careers you can go into, but it's also one of the best skills in general that you can learn. They've done studies on this and the most common career that millionaires and billionaires had in their past was a sales career. And I do not think that that is any coincidence. Sales is incredibly important and it's gonna teach you a lot about yourself and the world. Now, according to Glassdoor, when you type in salesman, you're gonna see $74,000 a year. And if you type in sales at the entry level on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 812,000 results. Now, with that being said, there are certain sales positions that are gonna be much more lucrative than others. Someone I interviewed on this channel, I've talked about him before, awesome guy. Antoine makes over $540,000 a year. He is in a tech sales position. And even at the entry levels, there are people that are making really good money as well. For instance, another person I interviewed on the channel, Della, went into tech sales and she was able to actually land over $100,000 a year in her very first job. And that was without a degree or any experience. So tech sales is one of the few careers that I recommend on this channel that you can get into very quickly without a degree or any experience. Many people have been doing it already. And if you wanna check out the company that I recommend to get into tech sales, I will put a link to their free training down below. Definitely check that out. They also have a more advanced training where they're not only gonna train you, but they're going to give you guaranteed interviews 
with tech sales companies. And if you choose to use that, go ahead, use my coupon code Shane50. But yeah, sales without a doubt goes into S tier as well. Next one on the list is consulting. Now consulting is a really cool one because you can go into it and then there's so many different other job opportunities that you can go into afterwards. Companies absolutely love to hire consultants to work in house after they've gained some experience. But if you type in consultant on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $86,000 a year. I can tell you they can make a heck of a lot more than that. And if you type in consultant on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 540,000 results. So I'm also going to put this one into S tier as well. Next one on the list is gonna be entrepreneurship slash small business. So this is basically where you start your own small business. Maybe someday it even evolves into a medium sized business. Now, some types of businesses are gonna have a much higher success rate than others. Typically, any type of business that's in the trades or things where you do physical labor, like you're you know, going and mowing people's lawns, you're cleaning their windows, etc. These types of businesses have a much higher success rate than some sort of you know startup type business where you're trying to create an app that changes the world. But with that being said, if you start a startup, you can literally become a billionaire. Whereas if you start like a plumbing business or something like that, you can still make really good money, but you're probably not gonna become a billionaire. But with that being said, when you type in entrepreneurship on Glassdoor, they show $78,000 a year for salary. And obviously it wouldn't be on LinkedIn because nobody's hiring for entrepreneurship. You have to start your own business. But yeah, this one is clearly S tier. You can make incredible money starting your own business. It's definitely not for everybody. But with that being said, some people go into business really quickly right after they turn 18. Others, they wanna get some experience, gain some skills, et cetera, and then eventually down the line, start their own business. Next one on the list, human resources. So according to Glassdoor, HR makes $74,000 a year. And if you type in human resource on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 62,000 results. This one overall, when it comes to pay, is gonna go into C tier. All right, next one on the list is another one of my favorite careers, and that is marketing. Now, if you look up marketing on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $79,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see a whopping 675,000 results. Now, overall, I'm gonna put marketing in A tier, but there's one type of marketing that is clearly S tier, and that is digital marketing, which is the next one on the list. Now, the reason that digital marketing is just simply better than normal types of marketing is because you can easily track the results. Other types of traditional marketing, you put up a billboard, you do a TV ad, you do a radio ad, all these sorts of things, it's very difficult to actually track the results that you're getting. With digital marketing, it is incredibly easy to track your results. And that allows you to scale your business and create more effective campaigns much more easily. So next one on the list is going to be real estate. Now, according to Glassdoor, real estate agents make about $109,000 a year. And if you look up real estate agent on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 83,000 results. Now I will say this one is really difficult to sort of figure out because the truth is a lot of real estate agents do it part time. So basically they get their real estate agent license simply because you know one of their family members might be buying a house and somebody has to get the commission so the you know they'll ask the family member to give it to them. So they're not really seriously trying to do real estate. Other people try to do real estate for a short time, they try to do it full time, they fail and then they quit. Real estate is one of those careers where you do have to hustle especially if you want to do it full time, but you can also do it part time as well. But with that being said, you can make a lot of money as a real estate agent. This one is going to go into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be retail. So according to Glassdoor, retail makes about $37,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn, there's 592,000 results at the entry level. So retail does not make very good money. Wouldn't recommend staying in this one for a long time. Um, I worked in retail before, it's not bad experience, but it's definitely not something you wanna get stuck in. So this one goes into F tier. Next one on the list is going to be an executive. So the chief executive officer is of course the number one executive, but there's also a lot of other executives that are below them typically. So you might have the chief financial officer, for instance, the CFO. And according to Glassdoor, executives make $93,000 a year. And if you type in business executive on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 61,000 results. So this one clearly goes into S tier as well. 
Next one on the list is going to be management. Now, I have mixed feelings about management positions because there are definitely some good ones out there, but in my experience, there are many management positions where you might get like a 20%, 30% pay bump, but the amount of work you're doing is probably double or triple what everyone else is doing. So there are managers out there that don't really get paid nearly as much as they should. So it's one of those jobs where I think it's good to get some experience as a manager, um, but if you're gonna be a manager, you might as well just start your own business. But that's just my opinion, and I think it's kind of a case-by-case -case sort of thing. But yeah, if you look at management on Glassdoor, you see $92,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn, there are 1.8 million jobs available. So this one is gonna go into A tier. Next one on the list is international business. So if you type in international business on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $93,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, there's 25,000 results. Not bad, but also not amazing. This one goes into B tier. Next one on the list is logistics. And this is an underrated one, in my opinion. According to Glassdoor, logisticians make about $73,000 a year. And if you look up logistics on LinkedIn, you're going to see 136,000 at the entry level. This one is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put it into A tier. Next one on the list is project management. If you look this one up on Glassdoor, it's $84,000 a year. On LinkedIn, it's 127,000 results. Pretty freaking good as well. I'm also gonna put this one in A tier. Next one on the list is public relations. Now with a lot of these, there's a ton of different positions you can go into, so don't pay too much attention to the exact number on Glassdoor, but this is one where there's not a ton of jobs out there, but if you are able to land a good job with a good company, it can be really good. So if you look up public relation on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $103,000 a year, and if you type it into LinkedIn, you're gonna see 59,000 results. So this one is gonna go into B tier. Next one on the list is sports management. This one is $94,000 a year on Glassdoor. And if you look it up on LinkedIn, there's 6,200 results. So honestly, uh, not a lot of opportunity for this one. I'm gonna put it into D tier. However, obviously, if you're able to become a high level sports manager, you can make a lot of money. Next one on the list is going to be sustainability. So an example of this one would be a sustainability manager. And sustainability, I'm not gonna lie, is extremely hot right now. I think it's gonna get even bigger over the next 10 years. But with this one, you can expect to make about $96,000 a year and there's 4,600 results. So this one is on the rise. I'm actually gonna put this one into A tier. Next one on the list is a business teacher. Not really great money, about $45,000 a year. This one goes into D tier. Next one on the list is data entry. I don't think I need to say much about this one. Very, very basic job. They make about $36,000 a year. Is a relatively easy job to get, but it's pretty mindless. So this one goes into F tier. So check out that interview with Della, who is able to land a tech sales position with her dream company in a month and a half. Gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.